Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a screenwriter's rant on Ted K, a movie about the uh, Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, if you remember him. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Available at Amazon.com. Kindle Unlimited is free. Now, Ted starts off as a in this trailer as a hippie living in the woods and loving nature, but then modern man keeps thwarting him. And it makes him angry, and he writes letters to the editor, which go nowhere, and eventually he becomes the Unabomber because he can't take the encro encroachment of man. He wants, he wants to live like a hermit. Um, but, you know, his solution is terrible <laughs> it's terrible um and he basically goes a little nuts up in the cabin and uh uh eventually he uh this guy i i know this actor i guess this is his name here char charlto copley is that his name um the life and crimes of former math professor turned serial killer Ted Kaczynski, a.k.a. the Unabomber, has been the subject of books, TV, films since his arrest in 96. But Tony Stone's film, Ted K, appears to be the first movie to serve as a character study of the infamous terrorist. Ted K's new trailer offers an extended look of Charlto Copley, District 9. Oh, that's where he's from. Okay. Yeah, he's a pretty good actor. Uh, as Kaczynski, the trailer has a slow burn thriller vibe. We gradually watch this deeply troubled, isolated man violently react to the noisy, disruptive civilization infringing on his wilderness solitude. Living alone in a cabinet without electricity, Kaczynski targeted those he deemed a threat to the environment because of their ties or to or support of tech or industrialization. He killed three people, injured 23 over 17 years. He is currently serving eight consecutive life terms in prison without the possibility of parole. Ted K will be available in theaters and on demand February 18th. So he's a really good actor. So, yeah, I thought he looked familiar. Um, and this is one of his bombs. He he did some nasty things, Ted Kaczynski. I mean, he made these bombs with, like, nails in them and stuff. And it's just awful. And, that you know, he just... I, I think he just lost it, is what it boils down to. Uh, but he was a smart guy to lose it. So he used his intelligence to avoid the law for a long time. I mean, there he is, the Unabomber. How are you going to tell who the hell this guy is? For a long time, they couldn't figure out who he was. And uh, it's called Ted K. Oh, here's some uh, directed by Tony Stone. Let's see if we can get the rest here. Oh, I can't. Directed by Tony Stone. I can't see who the writer is. Uh, uh, yeah, so in, a, in some ways it's a perfect low-budget thriller because obviously Copley is playing a guy who lived in the middle of the woods by himself, so everything's kind of just, you know, until he goes into society, he's alone in the woods going crazy. This is really an actor's movie, you know? It's an actor's movie. You know, for the breakdown, it's probably going to be first act. He's in the woods. He's loving life. And then, uh, you know, to make him appear a little bit sympathetic, at least in the beginning, you can understand why he got mad. You can't, under you can't condone his tactics, obviously. He's a murderer. But you understand why he gets angry because he had this solitude. And then there's probably some flashbacks on, you know, when he was a math professor and, un you know, how he slowly unraveled over a period of time. Second act is mostly him probably gearing up to do what he did. And then the late second act and through the third act, he is blowing people up, targeting people. And, um, you know, eventually, in this is 96, they caught him. They caught him and uh, and put him in jail for a long time. And uh, it was a big news story. I mean, you don't know who he is. I mean, you're probably too young to remember. But it was uh, it was pretty scary for a while. I mean, a little bit. But, um, you know, people were looking for him. But he, he created a look. You know, he created the look of the Unabomber 
to throw people off. Uh, not that, but so, and he was a math professor, so he wasn't an idiot, but he probably had some mental problems. And, uh, you know, and there's a, there's a bit where he tries, he puts a gun underneath his chin, so maybe he was suicidal, maybe he thought he would kill himself, but he couldn't do it. So, it's, is it going to be a good movie? I, I, I go back and forth with the bio movies because it's tough to do a bio movie, stay true to the source material, and make it dramatic and interesting. This may be an exception because it's a, it's a portrayal of madness. It's a portrayal of a guy losing his sanity over a period of time. But is that all that interesting is the question. You know, because I think when people sit down to watch these movies, they kind of want to learn. You know, they kind of want to learn about this guy and see it dramatized, dramatized in such a way that they learn something about the events. And I think you would in this, at least from Ted's point of view. And, um, you know, I hope they wouldn't take too much liberties with this, especially since... Well, it feels like it happened relatively soon, but uh, it's almost 30 years ago, I guess. Um, yeah, so it's about 30, no, 25 years ago. 25 years ago. So, um, yeah, Ted K. Would I see it? Ah, it's not the kind of movie I need to see. I mean, I was alive for this. I mean, I was 30 when this, you know, in my 20s and all the way up to 30 when uh, when this was news. So I followed it pretty pretty closely so for a guy like me ah, eh, you know i don't know if i want to see it i could read about it i know most of the details um you know i would however to to see this actor copley is a really good actor so you know there's that i mean he's the kind of guy you know he's like a de niro type um he he you know, most of his acting has been these really sort of tough roles, these interesting characters. Maybe Daniel Day-Lewis, you know? He doesn't take, like, just any role. He's not doing a buddy cop movie or some wacky, stupid, woke thing he's doing. He's doing a tough thing. I mean, this is a tough character to play and make real, you know? But, um, so for that part of it, yeah, I kind of want to see it, but I think I could wait till streaming, but, you know, I mean, a lot of good movies coming out in February. I mean, it's coming out right around the time of uh, some of the other stuff I want to see. God, so many movies. Uh, I'm glad to see Hollywood is at, least, is at least cranking stuff out. At the very least, you can stream them. I mean, that's a good thing about uh, today. Um, so, yeah, I think Ted K will be a decent flick. I really do. I, I, I think it, you know, for a biopic... I think this will be top notch, you know, as compared to something that maybe was made up. Meh. But, you know, the thriller aspect of it is in some ways it's difficult to get behind because it already happened. You kind of know the, the, the fallout from it. But, you know, again, his between his performance and learning some new details. Yeah, I, I, I could see it being totally something to watch. Um, all right. Well, that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. We are done for today. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for a news blast and a Hollywoke hot take for our more base, base, base takes. And that's it. We'll see you 